Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to Top Scholars. Today, we'll be discussing about changes in state of substance and their uses. So, friends, let's first start with different states of a substance. A substance can exist in the solid state, for example, pen, salt, whereas table and chair. All these substances exist in the solid state, whereas a substance can also exist in the liquid state. For example, water, lemon juice and milk. These substances exist in the liquid state, whereas a substance can also exist in the gaseous state. For example, air and water vapor. Now friends, here we saw that a substance can exist in three different states, right? And that was solid state, liquid state and gaseous state. But friends, one question comes to my mind is that can these different states interchange among oneself, right? But friends, let me ask you a question. Can these states of matter be interchanged? Yes, definitely. These states can be interchanged by simply applying heat. Let's take a very, very simple example to understand the change of the physical state by simply applying heat. That is, let's take an example of water, right? Now, if I ask you that if you take water and keep it in the freezer for some time, for some hours, it gets converted into ice, right? So, you can say that water exists as ice, right? That means that in the solid state, water exists as ice, right? So, now if you remove this ice from the freezer and keep it at room temperature for some time, what happens? Yes, the ice starts melting and it gets converted into, yes, it gets converted into water. That is the liquid state, right? Which means that if you take out ice and keep it at room temperature, what happens is because of the surrounding temperature, because of the surrounding heat, this ice starts melting, right? And so, it gets converted into the liquid state. So, here we saw that solid gets converted into the liquid state and this process is called as melting, right? And what is the temperature at which ice starts melting or gets converted into water? Yes, at 0 degree Celsius. So, what is the melting point of ice? Yes, it is 0 degree Celsius. Now, if you take this liquid water and start boiling it, right? You start heating it, so it starts boiling, right? And after some time, you will notice that there is some vapors that are coming right out. This vapor is nothing but, yes, it is steam, right? Which means that the liquid water on heating gets converted into gaseous water vapor, right? Which means that liquid state is converted into the gaseous state. And this process is called as evaporation, right? Which means that liquid water evaporates and gets converted into water vapor, that is the gaseous state. So, what is the boiling point of water? Yes, it is 100 degrees Celsius, which means that at 100 degrees Celsius, liquid water gets converted into water vapor. That is, the liquid state gets converted into the gaseous state. Exactly. Now, friends, if this water vapor, which is the gaseous form of water, if this is cooled down, right, on cooling this down by 100 degrees Celsius, it gets converted into liquid water, which means that Gaseous state is converted into the liquid state. Water vapor gets converted into liquid water. And this process is called as condensation, right? And at what temperature does water vapor condense into liquid water? 100 degrees Celsius, right? So, remember, by applying heat or by removing heat, you can easily change the state, right? That is the physical state. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to take liquid water and now let's cool it again, right? Now, when you cool the liquid water, that is you are going to simply keep it in the freezer basically. So, after some hours, you will notice that this liquid water gets converted into solid ice. Wow, interesting. Which means now, the liquid state is converted into the solid state, right? The liquid water is converted into solid ice, right? And this is called as freezing. And what is the temperature at which liquid water gets converted into solid ice? Yes, 0 degree Celsius. And that is nothing but the freezing point, right? Is it clear? So, here you can see that this different states that is solid, liquid and gas, they can be easily interchanged by simply applying heat and removing heat, right? 
So here we saw if I take a solid substance and if I heat it, it gets converted into the liquid state. Again, start heating this liquid. What happens is it gets converted into the gaseous state. But if you cool down this gaseous substance, that is simply water vapor, what happens is it condenses back to give you liquid. And if you again cool down this liquid, it gets converted into the solid state, right? That is ice. Okay, excellent. So friends, from this, it's very clear that if you need to change the physical state of a substance, it is very much important that there should be some heat exchange, right? Either heat is gained or heat is lost, right? So from this, it is very clear that if a substance needs to change its physical state or simply if you need to change the physical state of a substance, you need to simply apply heat or you need to remove the heat, right? That is either you need to heat the substance or you need to cool it down, right? Which means that there is an exchange of heat that takes place, right? So, if you heat a substance, right, the temperature increases and if you remove the heat, then it cools down, right? The substance becomes cold. But how do we come to know how hot or cold a substance is? Yes, we need to measure the temperature. And how do we do this? Yes. To learn more about this topic, Download Top Scholars app.